This year our team set their goals extremely high and I'm not sure that anybody outside of our team believed that we could achieve some of those goals, but as a result uh, we beat the University of Tampa who was number one in the nation at the time. We finished second place in the always tough Sunshine State Conference and played in our program's first ever Sweet 16. Now that was an exciting season. Lindsey Biggs has been a go-to player for the Eckerd College Triton since the day she stepped foot in our gym. She's very talented, very driven, very competitive, and uh, this year her teammates just really stepped up, and so our opponents couldn't only focus on Lindsey. They, ha they had to pay attention to the other players as well, and that really freed up uh, Lindsey to score a lot more points for us this year. She was accompanied by freshman teammate Allie McIlvaney on the right side who really made a huge splash this season and uh, I think she is going to have a great uh, three seasons com coming up in her future. Our middle blockers made a bigger impact this year than, than any other year. Uh, Alex Layton led the team in blocks and Olivia Fraser was on fire on offense for us and they've both just shown great progression throughout their career and I'm really excited for their senior year next year. I think they're they're really going to shine in their last season as a Triton. This year our team ran a 6-2 offense with setters Bree Smith and Madison Burr and they did a great job of distributing the ball to our offense and putting our hitters in a great position to get kills. We feel really lucky that those are our setters. We think they're two of the best in the Sunshine State Conference and they really just did a great job of executing our game plan that we asked them to do. We're really going to miss our three seniors who spent four years at Eckerd College. They were great contributors to our program and it's probably going to look a little funny to some of our fans to, to see someone other than Hallie, Hallie as the libero, but uh, we've signed some great players that are going to uh, really impact our program in the fall, so we're excited to get on to the, to the next chapter. When I arrived at Eckerd College, Eight years ago, our biggest goal was to make the NCAA tournament for the first time in school history. We achieved that goal by my third season in 2006, and we've now gone to the NCAA tournament five out of the last six years. And while we're excited about that, that's, that's no longer our team's goal. That, that's an expectation. We're going to get to the tournament. Uh, now we need to build on that, and our Sweet 16 appearance was great this year, but our kids want more. They, they want to be a part of an Elite Eight. They want to be at a Final Four and eventually a national championship match. I think our team knew going into this season that it could be a really special year for us. A lot of our conference opponents had lost players to either graduation or, or transferring and we really wanted to take advantage of the opportunity that we had with our entire roster returning. They really worked hard uh, in the off season to make sure that this was going to be a great season. Our conference schools and our regional committee were really kind to Eckerd this year. To be named the Sunshine State Conference Coach of the Year as well as the Region Coach of the Year was, was very humbling. And then to have six of our players be on the all-conference team, four players named to the all-region team, and three additional players to be recognized during the South Region Tournament was really impressive. We feel very, very lucky.